Welcome to the fourth episode of the 2024 GCE Maths Paper 1. In this video, we are going to look at question 23, which was based on travel graphs. Alright, question 23 reads, The diagram below shows the speed time graph of an object. The object accelerates uniformly from O to P until it reaches a speed of 20 meters per second in 4 seconds and then moves steadily from P to Q for 6 seconds and finally comes to rest. So this is the graph that is showing the movement of an object which accelerated steadily from point O to P and then moves at constant speed from point P to Q. So the first question says find the acceleration in the first four seconds, right? We know that acceleration is given by the final velocity minus the initial velocity over time. Now, we need to know what the final velocity is, what the initial velocity is, time we've been given. So time we've been given as four seconds. Then initial velocity is here. Here, this is where the initial velocity is at all, at the origin, meaning uh, the initial velocity is zero. So u is equal to zero. Then the final velocity is this one. You can see that this object accelerated from zero to 20 meters per second. The speed here was 20 meters per second. The final velocity was 20 meters per second. All right, next we need to plug this information in this formula. So we're going to have acceleration is equal to the final velocity is 20 meters per second. So 20 minus the initial velocity is zero over time is four seconds is equal to. So 20 minus zero is 20 over four. So 20 divided by four is five, meaning the acceleration is five meters per second squared. The next question says, find the total distance covered by the object. All right. So they want you to find the total distance that this object covered from here to point P to point Q and here where there's 15. So now when you look at the journey of this object, you can see that the shape that is being formed here is a trapezium. So to find the distance, we are going to use the formula for finding the area of a trapezium. So the area under the graph of a trapezium is given by uh, distance is equal to half A plus B times the height. So our job at this point is to find what A, B and H is. So A is the distance from P to Q. So to find this to find this distance, we are going to say 10 minus 4, which is 6. So A is 6. Then B. B is the distance from here to there. So we are going to say 15 minus 0, which is 15. Then the height. The height is the distance from here to where 20 is. So from here to there is 20. So the height is 20. Right? So we are going to have 1 over 2. A is 6 plus B is 15 times the height, which is 20. Then at this stage, you can see that 2 into 2 is 1. Then 2 into 20 is 10. Then we can add what is in the brackets there. We're going to have 6 plus 15 is 21. And then times this 10 here. Okay, 10. Okay, so 21 times 10 is... 210 so this is 210 meters so now let's just write our answers in the space provided so the acceleration is 5 meters per second squared so 5 meters per second squared then the distance we found that is 210 meters all right the last question says find the average speed in the last four seconds okay so we know that speed is given by distance over time time we have been given as four seconds which is this one here then distance 
distance we don't know distance the distance we don't know the distance in the last four seconds now coming back to the graph the last part of the journey is from q to where 15 is okay again when you look at 10 and 15 the difference here is five seconds so which means that if the difference here is five seconds what they are asking us to do is to find the average speed in the last four seconds so to do that we're going to assume that here there is 11. if here there is 11 it means from 11 to 15 you are going to have your four seconds here so we are going to first extend this like this so our aim here we need to find the average the speed here okay the speed here when the time was four seconds so we're going to say okay this is x all right now i want us to concentrate on this big triangle and this small triangle let me use a different color to show that we are forming uh, two different triangles so that we use the ratios to find the distance x or the speed x so we also have this green big triangle okay so we are having this scenario we have this big green triangle like this okay so here we have 10 so we have 10 here and we have 20 here here we have 20 then here we have 15 but remember we also have the smaller triangle here and the small the height of the of this triangle is x is the one that we are looking for so we are looking for x here so to find x here which is the speed in the last four seconds we are going to use the concept of similar shapes or the ratios from here to there okay from here to here it's 20 okay the speed is 20 so we're going to write 20 over then from here we are now talking about the height of the smaller triangle this one here okay so from here to there the speed is x we don't know is equal to then from here to there is 5 over then from here to there which is the the, the 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 base of the smaller triangle is 4 because here we said we assume that there is 11 so that we have 4 minutes there okay so to find x we are going to cross multiply we are going to have 5 times x is 5x is equal to 20 uh, times times 4 20 times 4 so to get the value of x we are going to divide by 5 on both sides okay so x is equal to uh, 5 into 5 is 1 5 into 20 is 4 then we are having 4 times 4 which is 16 all right so meaning here we have 16 so in other words we are having the smaller triangle with measurements like this so here we have 11 then here we have 16 and then here we have 15 like this okay so for us to find the distance covered here we are going to say we are going to use the formula for finding the area under the graph in this case a, a right angled triangle so we're going to say area is equal to distance is equal to 1 over 2 base times height okay so we're going to say 1 over 2 the base is 15 minus 11 which is 4 times the height from here to there is 16 okay so 2 into 2 1 then 2 into 4 is 2 then 2 times 16 is 32 okay 32 meters 
so which means that uh, the distance here is 32 meters now we can use uh, this information to find the average speed in the last four seconds so the distance is 32 meters over time is four seconds okay so we're going to say four into 32 is eight meters per second so this is the speed in the last four seconds all right so the trick here is to know that four seconds is somewhere here the difference here is five form two triangles and then find the speed here and then find the the distance of the smaller triangle here and use it to find the average speed